Hello dear ones, it's it's Alice. I have astonishing late breaking news for you regarding the servants of 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 Baal, the ancient uh, god known as Baal or Baal and uh, and the people of Judea, the of Jewish faith. Ha. Huh. So there's been a great deal of commotion amongst a small group of people who've agreed to take on the um, karmic debt of the servants of, of Baal. Now these, um, these were peoples of the Holy Lands, uh, the Northern Holy Lands, the Mesopotamian area, I think, and perhaps Syria. Long ago, uh, the breadbasket of, of the world, the, the birthplace of what was once considered the birthplace of modern civilization, the, the lands where um, they built the, the um, tiered cities, in those places, I believe, and, and around those areas, they worshipped a god known as Baal, B-A-A-L. Okay. Then came along um, the, the, the tribes of Judea, right, and from the south, and there was a huge uh, history over hundreds of years of warfare between the god of of of, of the the Jewish people and the and the god of of the Mesopotamian people, um, Baal, and um, so yeah, the worship of Baal was widespread at that time. In fact, many um, prominent people in the in the Holy Land. Named their last name included the word Baal, okay, and so uh, that was because it was considered to be a very high honor. I'm sure, and you'll find in some versions of the Old Testament many many names that ended with the word Baal, right? That were later changed because those people became allies of the Jewish people. It was later changed to an, another word. So, so there was this ongoing conflict, and in fact. What was finally accomplished, I think through the reign of, of King David, uh, was the genocide of these people, widespread genocide of those people who worshipped the God whom they called Baal. Okay? Now, so, so uh, and by genocide I mean, uh, according to the biblical account, um, uh, King David and his, his lieutenant Joab and uh, his armed forces were uh, uh, slaughtered, uh, I don't know, maybe 50,000 people in that area, or maybe more. That's what they say anyway. So whether or not the numbers were true, the, the, the apparent fact is that they, they, um, they slaughtered all the people who were not of the Jewish faith in that area. Okay, so there is there is that ancient curse, the curse of Baal against the Jew, Jew, Jewish people, the Jewish nation. And this, I feel, has been, in the main, counterbalanced by the um, the genocide of the Jewish people during World War II. Um, there is still in the in the and so we're talking about the karmic balance of groups of people, um, genocide to genocide, judgment to judgment. There is still that energy of Baal in the world today. The God who has been, was greatly honored and has been discredited, okay? My stance with regard to religions is that all religions must be honored in these, the, the days of the new beginning. Allow all concepts of, of divinity to be honored, okay? All right, now, to get back to this small group of people who took on the remaining karma of the Baal-Yahweh conflict. All right. Huh. It's important for the people of Judah, the modern-day people of Judah, to recognize that, that this energy does exist and that it is, um, it is a valid energy of divinity. It is important for the people of Judah in today, today's world to forgive, to forgive the energy of Baal, to forgive the energy of Auschwitz, to forgive the energy of persecution that they have endured over the years. For the beginning of this curse, the curse of Baal, 
was through the action of the people of Judah, the, the tribe of, of, how do you say it, the tribe of David? You know, David's legacy to the Jewish people, genocide. Apparently this is the case. We must forgive ourselves, we forgive our, our own souls for this, this involvement in, 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 in murder of men, women, and children who are other. All peoples on earth must do so. And we must forgive those who have perpetrated this scenario against our own people in the ancient times and even in the modern day. And so it is, the curse of Baal will be removed. It will be removed. Honor Baal. Honor Yahweh. Honor God in all its aspects. As it is an expression of the longing of humankind to end this, this agony of separation from God consciousness. From God Himself. All right. All right, dear ones, blessings to the servants of Baal, now and in all times past and future. Blessings to the servants of Yahweh, now and in all times past and future. And for the servants of God, no matter what their creed, no matter what their vision, of all that is. Blessings to each and every one of us. Blessings to all humankind. In love and light and joy I speak. So it is. So it is. And so it is. I believe that um, Goddess Ishtar uh, had a manifestation in Mesopotamia too in the Sumerian uh, culture, in the Hittite culture. Um, and so those who um, use the image of Ishtar uh, or, or worship Ishtar, the fertility goddess, um, are, are in the pot with the, with the Baal camp, the, the Baal god camp, okay? Um, I have a further insight into Baal. I think I think a good way to imagine, envision Baal, the energy of Baal that is non-destructive, is is to think of um, the raising of the crops, the fertilizing of the crops. Um, to, I think uh, personal power in the universe, the expression of personal power in the universe, whether um, Baal. Um, so those aspects of life, uh, the ancients of, uh, of the Holy Land who uh, um, used to, uh, to create a sense of security in their world, you know, fertility, um, human fertility, fertility of crops, um, personal power, the expression of personal power, which in those days often took the form of power over, mistakenly, you know, in that culture. And so Ishtar and, uh, and Baal both have that aspect, those, those, those many aspects. And let us think of them in that way, in a more positive way, because the other aspects of the ancient gods, including Yahweh, had to do with um, witchcraft, actually, with black magic, with, um, with doing harm to other people, with subduing people, with killing other tribes, um, with, with getting lots of wives, for instance. And that is a story behind that, that fable about King David and, um, uh, what's her name? Um, Bathsheba. Bathsheba was the wife of a Hittite. Hittites were, um, were Sumerian, uh, they would have been worshippers of Baal, and however, her husband had joined forces with David and was fighting in a war, and uh, that that uh, on David's side with David's general or, or chief of army, Joab, right to the north, fighting his own people, and um, 
and uh, fighting the worshipers of Baal, okay? And while he was doing that, David raped his wife, okay? So there are issues there. That is a, like a microcosm of the issues that were involved in those days. Um, there were all kinds of superstitions. There was, there was struggles of tribes against tribes trying to, trying to actually murder each other every spring. And um, there was the, the, um, the, 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 um, the clash of the armies of the night representing the, the um, negative side of these, these god images that the peoples had, the witchcraft, the... Um, the power over the um, it's more like voodoo or black magic aspects the of uh, of those of those ancient concepts of God all right and these are expressing themselves in the world today as the scenario is resolving itself through through actually modern groups of people who have agreed to take on this karma and resolve it okay we have to what we have to do is dissolve the ancient fractals in love. That's what we have to do. We have to let go the notion that we are controlling everybody because that notion, uh, third chakra negative, 3N, right? That notion is that which Baal grasps in order to perpetuate that ancient like energy, all right? Yeah, so, so what happened when Baal was like reduced to rubble back then is that what remained of the image was, was third chakra negative. All right, and it's that which is being resolved this very day. So, power to the people, a power of great goodness and kindness and love, power to the image of the ancient gods in the most constructive possible way. Okay, all right.